Oakley, Dokely Focalies. So with the whole Night Lord project, <laughs> which uh, I'm sad to say I can't actually put down, I really wanted to get onto something else, but it's got its hooks into me. I have gone and got something that I've been threatening to do since the Night Lords first came on the scene. <sighs> and this big old box is why I'm recording this on the edge of a bed rather than across my desk. Because this doesn't all fit on my desk. This Thunderhawk gunship has been sanctioned and is now ready to serve the chapter. Thought for the day, tremble foes of man, for the might of the Adeptus Astartes never rests in the Emperor's work. Yeah, it's a shame they don't do a Chaos version of this, but this is the Certificate of Authenticity that this is a Forge World Thunderhawk, and this is number 1,666 off the mould. In here is our lovely Forge World instructions, and there is also, let's find it, the easiest thing in the world to lose, a sheet of perfectly clear perspex. That's to make the cockpit window. Forge World instructions for the Thunderhawk. Sheet one of five. General cockpit. So you have your pilots, all the instruments, the controls, some nice lounge chairs at the back here. And from chatting with um, Templar's Crusade, who's already built one of these, once the whole thing's all built, that's all you can see. All of this detail back here, lost, which is a bit of a shame. So, sheet one of five, sheet two of five, putting in the stairs, the lower fuselage, popping in some bulkheads. The bolter rack there is a lovely bit of detail. Got the two doorways. Then you need to put on the uh, front section, the nose, the cockpit assembly that we've done before. And an upper ceiling. <laughs> then we come on in there, recommended order of assembly to the undercarriage on sheet three of five. So everything that we've just built, flip it on its head so we can pop on our landing pads with the pistons and the gears and everything down. The heavy bolter assemblies, very, very similar looking there to what you find on a Land Raider and also what you find on the, the front mounted bolts on a Land Raider. So these are for the wings, these are for the uh, sponsored mounted ones at the front. Then we come to the top fuselage so we can pop the side doors on. Fuselage across the top here, sensors if you want. The cockpit canopy goes over the top and this is what that clear sheet of perspex goes on first. Air brakes at the back here which are pretty cool and the attack wings with a sign that says do not glue which is pretty cool so you can have them up down make it look like an x-wing fighter and then sheet five of five everything else for the exterior so wings the canards turbo laser or battle cannon popping the bolters on all of the engines this is forge world's idea of instructions for a thunderhawk so two moments i'm gonna unpack this lot and i will show you what you actually get in the box to make all of that. Right folks, so as you can see, there is quite a bit to this kit. Um, so let's start with the obvious ones. Oh, this is that lower fuselage, landing gear, rear door, side doors, which I need to punch some of the resin out. Bits for the interior where things like the bolter racks go. Fitting for the wings. The rear upper fuselage there, which will sit on the back there. There will probably be a bit of a gap that will need green stuff, and obviously, I've got to take the runs off them. Um, they're not bad casts. For everyone that's seen these so far that knows Thunderhawks, they're notoriously bad to put together. All in all, there's a little bit of warping on them, but they're not too bad. And then we have our two wing sections. 
So the engine pieces will go across there, command flaps, the space on the underside for the bolter, same again on that side, and where the last cannon will rest when the attack foils are down. First bag, we have cockpit section, we have pilots, we have uh, bolt heads, we have the bolter racks to go on the doors, uh, which are very cool because they're cast without the mags in. I think that's, I mean, obviously they wouldn't be stored with magazines in, but I think that's pretty cool. So uh, a lot of interior detailing in here. A little bit of a, a bend and a warp in that, so that will be uh, straightened out with some uh, heat. Oh, next bag, nose cone. Top section that the bulkhead will fit into and the canopy. So these so far is all for the, uh, the front section. Oh, what did we have next? Let's have a look at this little bag. So we have doors in here. We have bits for the bolters, for the landing gear. So, little bits and bobs in there. Some fiddly pieces. Now I also picked up some Night Lord Land Raider doors so that I can uh, have this as chapter specific. What have we got in here? So this is the gun housing on the very, very top. So that's where I'm gonna end up sticking a magnet so that I can swap between the Thunderhawk cannon or the turbo laser. Uh, we've got the underwing missiles, some more bolter and sponson bits, the air brakes appear to be in here as well. So yes, I'm going to end up magnetising a lot of this so that I can swap between weapons. Uh, rear engine part there, so that will be good. One, two, three uh, vents two front turbines, the feet are all in here, the Aquilas, well I don't think I'll be needing those somehow, uh, again pistons and the like for more of the landing gear, the front ramp for the Thunderhawk that Dreadnoughts and the like can depart down, the bigger things, and the last bag, ooh, exterior details, so the wing, uh, the, the tail fin, the control flaps, the uh, mounts for the bolters and the like for the sponsons, uh, the optional extras like the sensors, the attack wings are in here. So that's pretty cool, although the uh, the Aquila will need removing, same as that one. But that's what Dremels are for. So all in all, the Thunderhawk is going to be a bit of a bit of a pig to build, I think. And I've had. Uh, a couple of chats with the Mighty Templars Crusade, who's built one of these. Uh, Vulcan's Champion, who had a horrific time building his as well. Um, so I'm going to be calling in a lot of favours, and I will do what I can, folks, on a on a step-by-step -step build. Because, heck, if I need help, if Brian and uh, Kev struggled with it, it's not an easy kit to build, and anything I can do to help you lot out with it, well, that's just nice, isn't it? Thank you for watching folks, wish me luck on this uh, rather insane project of building a Night Lord Thunderhawk. Because you know, I haven't got enough flyers as it is. Check to you later folks, take care, stay safe, peace, love and cookies. Bye.